Chapter 4, Unit 3. We're going to talk more about the sum of squared deviations. In the previous section, we used a definitional formula to find sum of squares. This was written as sum of squares is equal to the summation of x minus mean squared. We used columns to find the information to find sum of squares. This is most useful when the mean is a whole number or you have a very small number of scores, which is typically not the case. So in this section, we're going to introduce the computational formula to find sum of squares. It's the sum of squares is equal to summation of x squared. So we're going to have an x squared column and we're gonna sum that up. Minus the summation of x squared. So we're gonna sum up the summation of x column divided by n. I typically use the computational formula for everything. Um, it's useful all the time in any circumstances. It's the most preferred method. So let's look at an example using this computational formula. So find the sum of squares for the following scores, 1, 0, 6, and 1. So step 1, you're going to make your table and you're going to find the summation of x. So if you look on the right, you'll see the table. I listed the scores 1, 0, 6, 1, and I added them up and got summation of x equal to 8. Step 2 for the computational formula is to make an x squared column and then add that data up to find the summation of x squared. So in this case, your x squared column, you're just going to square each of the original x scores and you're going to get a total equal to 38. So you're going to have a small number, which is the summation of x, and you're going to have a big number, the summation of x squared. Okay. For the next step, you're going to use the formula sum of squares is equal to summation of x squared minus summation of x squared over n. Plug in everything you know. So the summation of x squared is the big number. So it's the big number minus, and then the small number is summation of x, which is 8. 8 and then squared over n, which is 4 in this case. There are four scores. So then you do the fraction first. So 38 minus 64. So you square the number divided by 4 and then equals, you bring the 38 over again. Now you do 64 divided by four and you get 16. Finally, you do subtraction. So remember order of operations, um, parentheses and exponents, then multiplication division, then subtraction as the last step. And there's your sum of squares equal to 22. So let's look at some other population formulas. So we know sum of squares, we can either use the definitional formula, which is the first one, or the computational formula, which is the second one, which is the one I typically prefer. The variance is equal to the sum of squares divided by n, and row squared is just the symbol for variance. You don't square anything, you don't do anything, you just write row squared equals, and that's the variance equals, sum of squares over n. And then the standard deviation is row is equal to you can either take the square root of the variance if you found it. If you don't know the variance, then the other formula is just square root of SS over N. Basically, we're just taking the square root of the variance formula. Either way you want to write it is fine. All right, so here's, let's look at finding a population and standard deviation and variance. So find the sum of squares for the following scores. Um, we used this example a few slides back, and we already found that the sum of squares was equal to 22. This is the same example from before. So if we're going to carry that further and find the variance, we just enter, write down the variance equation. Variance is equal to sum of squares over n. Substitute in what we have, 22 divided by 4, because there's four scores. That gives us a variance of 5.5. Now to find standard deviation, we just simply take the square root of the variance, and we get 2.35. All right, let's do some learning check problems. So pause the video and see if you can work this problem. All right, so step one is finding the sum of squares. Again, you're gonna make an X column and an X squared column, and you're gonna sum them both up. And then you're gonna substitute in those numbers into your equation. So the biggest number minus the smallest number squared over N. So 95 minus 15 squared over five. There's five numbers in this case. And you just work the problem on through and you get 50. Step two, you're going to find the variance. Well, that's just the sum of squares over n. Well, you just found the sum of squares is 50. n is 5, so 50 divided by 5 gives you 10. 
Find the standard deviation. That's just the square root of the variance. So square root of 10 is 3.16. All right, problem two. What's the standard deviation for this population of scores? Pause the video, see if you can do the work. Step one, again, two columns, x and x squared. You sum them both up and you fill it into the sum of squares equation. So you end up with the big number minus the small number squared over four. Plug those numbers in, you come up with 36 for your sum of squares. Next, you're gonna find your variance. The equation is SS over N, so 36 over four, which gives you nine. And finally, find the standard deviation. It's just the square root of nine, which is three. All right, final learning check problem three. Pause the video to work the problem. All right, in this case, we're told that we have a population of eight scores and a standard deviation of three, and they want you to find the value of sum of squares. Well, we need to think back to the, our equations that we know. Which equation has n, the standard deviation, and sum of squares? Well, we have this equation right here. Standard deviation is equal to the square root of sum of squares over n. So the next step is you just fill in what you know. You know the standard deviation is three. You know n is eight. Okay, now how do you solve this? First off, you square both sides to get rid of the square root sign. So you end up with nine is equal to sum of squares over eight. Next, you cross multiply and you just end up with sum of squares equal to 72.